Perfect. Welcome into Tips for Gamers, guys. In this video, we are going to be doing a career simulation with Justin Herbert. So this is our version of being the player. Okay, we are going to be doing everything and anything that is in the best interest of the player, and we're going to have three main benchmarks. Okay, money, because in real life, obviously you want to get paid. Now, at certain times, we may take a pay cut. Uh, to help bring other guys on but if the team is not bringing on the right guys you know we will either ask for more money or we will uh, basically go to another team the other thing that we're going to be looking at which is the second thing is rings we want to win Super Bowls we want to be a successful team you don't want to be on a losing team the third thing that we're going to be thinking of is Hall of Fame. We want to get a golden jacket and we want to get a bust of our face at the end of this entire thing. So welcome in guys and let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is going for quick draw and we're going to be going for closer. Okay, so you guys should already know what these are. We also have videos uh, with tips on the best abilities for your quarterback. We have them in multiple different positions as well. Uh, but this is definitely something that we're going to go with. And we may switch it up in the future. But as of right now, this is what we're leaning towards. Now for our season goal, um, 3,500 yards. I, I don't want to get too aggressive because i want the xp i'm not really looking to be like hey man um i'm gonna set a record this year or anything like that nah just give me the xp let me build up to it let me kind of get a feel for this offense first and we'll go from there and uh you know in reality if you really want to get it the 2000 is pretty easy the passing touchdowns are giving you 15 right here 25 i just i'm not ready for that yet I even think um, right here, the 15 passing TDs is actually easier than saying, hey, we're going to get 3,500 yards. Uh, 3,500 yards sounds easy, but your quarterback can fall just short of that. 15 TDs, if your quarterback falls short of that, he's, he's really terrible. So um, that's what we'll stick with. We'll go with the 15 TDs and then, uh, you know, move on from there. This week here, we have the Washington Commanders. Uh, the commandos or whatever they are all right so he talked crap tyron matthew talked crap so of course i talked crap back um good game i wish i could say the the better team won but well you know for real though you got talent i was impressed yeah we smoked them so you know it came out and i was like told them basically um I, I, crushing dudes like you is what got me to the nfl and then he talked a little bit of smacky poo poo, a little bit of that, you know, that upper lip stank. And uh, hey, you you got played, and you got you got beat. We gained a plus one hundred in legacy after talking that upper lip stank, and uh, showing what we got. So and it was just you know luck, but I knew we were gonna win when we were champions of the people. Let's go. Says, man, I can't wait to line up across you from you this week. We got four down linemen about to pounce on you like starving wolves. We ain't going to call it a day until there's nothing left of you. I'm going to talk crap. I mean, I, I'm not going to be like praising dudes. I'm Justin Herbert, bro. I've seen players like you. All it takes is one big play, a deep pass, long run. There's too much talking crap right here. This is, when you start doing two sentences, three sentences, no, nah, man. Uh, and I hope you're ready to pick up the pieces this week. Ah, oh, cheesy, man. I guess we'll see, won't we? It's going to be a slugfest. I can't wait. Nah, just tell him, like, dude, man, just make sure your shoes are tight, bro. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's see. He says, man, you're more slippery than you look. Thought I had a chance to get a few sacks. Had a few sacks, but I couldn't quite get a hang of you. No crap you couldn't, baby. I'm Justin Herbert. I'm a champion of the people, son. What are you talking about? You know who I am? I'm going to send you a jersey that's signed now. I'm going to send you a bottle of wine with a letter old school style with candle wax on that beast. And it's going to say when you open that sucker up, it's going to say your stats against me. And it's going to say, go have some fun. You just played a legend. My boy came into my office to come and talk to me. When I mean my office, I mean the entire locker room because I'm Justin Herbert and I'm the guy. I'm it. All right. So remember that name. And never forget it because it will haunt your dreams 
and it will make you into a champion. So my boy Austin Eckler is coming up to me and talking. He says, I've always thought that yards were the best way to measure a running back. And man, I hit triple digits last week. These are the type of games that set elite running backs apart from everybody else. But people won't call me a game changer until I prove that I could do it again. So let's go out there and make something happen against the Ravens. And I respect the hell out of that, son. I love it, man. You shine like the top of your head. Oh, that's all I'll tell you right now, Austin Eckler. You are a beast. And if anyone says that you're not a beast, tell them to come see me. Because it's a damn joke. All right, so Lamar Jackson, I mean, apparently, I just I just invite everybody to come talk to me. Everybody. Jesus. Is there, can you, did, who did I give my number to? Is this, like, something that you got to do in the NFL? You got to put it out on some, like, website, something, and everyone can call you? Jesus. Justin, I'm excited to play you this week. And, hey, stick around after the game. I'll give you my autograph. Oh, you didn't. I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw a ball to the sidelines and hit him in the face. You want to see my accuracy, son? I'm going to disrespect him. Uh, yeah. I envy you, Jackson, but I'm about to set records against your pathetic defense. Oof. Okay, maybe not that. And you got a front row ticket to show to the show. People pay a lot of money for that, you know. I've learned anything. If I've learned anything from the NFL, I can't really throw a pass too good or throw a lot of picks. Oh, sorry, Jackson. This is what I thought you were going to say because I thought you were a truthful man. Uh, it said the best players let their actions do the talking. Yeah, and boy, oh boy, you should turn in your jersey sometimes. That's all I'm saying. Respect goes both ways, man. We'll see how things work out for you. Yeah, well, we're already seeing that with you. And hey, man, you might want to switch over to running back. So you know, we didn't we didn't necessarily win, but Lamar came out and he said basically I'm a champion of the people. Basically told me I'm an American hero, and I respect that of him. Uh, the guys, the the guy is. A competitor, I'll give him that. The guy is an absolute beast. Okay, absolute beast. Um, scary. I don't think he can throw really good passes, but hey, you know what? I'll show him sometime. And we got a breakout player. So much for having a big game, huh? I want to be the best, but maybe there's no room in the offense for an elite running back. What are you sulking about, dude? Eckler would never do this in real life. Come on, man. He's a man. This guy's ridiculous. This guy could pick up a freaking quarter with just using his butt cheeks on the sidewalk. What are you talking about? Playoff bracket. Let's go, baby. Playoffs. Playoffs. I can't even see our, like, record, though. It's so weird. I can't see where we're at in the division. <laughs> so stupid. I, I got to figure out how to find it. But Madden, how do you screw that up? Anyways, we're fifth. So clearly, we were below the Chiefs, what I can see here based on the numbers. But I can't. I know we were 9-5, and five, and then we won again. So I know we've won 10 games. Um... But this is just, they got to make this easier because this is just really stupid. Anyways, Tennessee Titans are number one. Saints are number one. Green Bay Packers, number two. Cowboys, number three. Then it's the Rams, the Bears, the Bucks, the 49ers. Then we got the Bill Skis. Uh, so, you know, us being fifth, if the, Ra if the Raiders win, they go play uh, the Titans at home um, or the Bengals. So... You know, that's kind of what we'll see. But this is a huge game against the Chiefs. They We beat them once. They beat us once. That's what I know. All I know is this. Offensively, we were fifth. And defensively, we were 13th. So it was a big it was a big year. Now, we had 4,800 yards passing, which is amazing. 30 TDs, 8 interceptions. We had a very good year here. Very, very good year. And I'm now a 90 overall. So, you know, it's going to be – it's going to get – pretty intense here but i do have to say the chargers we're gonna lose some dudes because the chargers are gonna have to pay me a huge amount um very big amount and i'd like to give them a little money back you know i mean at what point in time it's like well if i take 230 million compared to 250 dude come on i have no problem with that if i'm gonna win a super bowl um but we're really targeting mike williams when it comes to the red zone but overall bulk I'm Keenan Allen and Jared Cook. Uh, Jared Cook is obviously extremely old. Keenan Allen's getting older. Um, so, you know, there is trying to get some of these rookies up. Joshua Palmer, that'd be great to, to get him up. Offensive line obviously did well. Defense, uh, I like my defense. Two middle linebackers are doing great work here um, with the tackles, even sacks. Uh, Linville Joseph, big boy, getting a lot of big time sacks here. Joey Bosa out of OH getting a lot of sacks there interception wise 
But Kaiser White is just a he's just a beast. Had a great season. Great season. Definitely go to the Pro Bowl if we don't make it to the top. Uh, but great season there. Asante Samuel for having you know his rookie season here. Proud of the guy. Absolutely amazing. So it sucks, but we lost 42 to 21. Tough game. Bengals won there. Uh, this was tough. Real tough. All right, so we'll look at the Pro Bowl roster, and you know it's your boy. First, absolutely number one across the board. It's me. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm looking slick. Got the long hair. I'm going to start, you know, just doing my thing, and I'm. we're going to bring our boys back. That's all I'm saying. Joey Bursky coming up. Um, so, who, t Hill, what the hell? Look at you come into the mix here, baby. Where's my halfback? Where's my boy? Keenan Allen, hey, let's go, big dog. Let's cook. Hey, let's go. Okay. All right. We got, you know, Joseph. I love it. My rookie should have been up here. My rookie corner, Asante Samuel Jr. You know, he should have been up here. So, Bengals did. They won. Uh, Chiefs beat the Bengals here. Now it's the Chiefs versus the Rams. Um, let's go Rams. I can't root for my division rival. Let's go Rams. Yearly awards MVP goes to him. I was in contention with MVP, which is dope. Um... You know, Staley, hey, man, I'm going to help you get there. Cause I'm going to do it no matter what. Best QB, give it to me. Mm, lies. Damn, you okay? You hosed me like that, eh? We went 11 and 6. God, I shouldn't have to, like, find it like this. You should show me. That's a great season. It's ridiculous. Where's my boy? There he is. There we go. There he is. Hey, Lindsey, he was in the Pro Bowl too. Yeah, yeah, sorry, dude. Didn't give you a shout out. You know I love you. Um, boop, 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 boop. Where's my boy? Where is he? Lies, man. Absolute lies. It's rigged. You drafted a quarterback in round two. Pick 20. You drafted a quarterback. You did, hey? Huh. Hmm. Okay. And a halfback. You drafted a halfback. Pick four. Okay, that's not the worst. Round four. First pick, we go with this guy. Preparing. is not bad. You know, we needed a tight end. That is something we needed. Not terrible picks. Ivory, you better play like Ivory because you look like crap. Okay, you 63 overall, not great, man. This cornerback, good filling, not bad. Halfback isn't terrible. I'll give you that. Uh, he's a power back out of Montana. Wide receiver, his guy's from Ohio State, so I understand why you drafted him, but he definitely wasn't the starter out of Ohio State. But this really pisses me off. You drafted a quarterback out of Penn State that is a 64 overall. You're already drafting my replacement or my backup because a second round pick that that's not a that your a second round pick is not a backup. That's a stupid backup if you're doing that. That's you that's my replacement. This is the guy you thought was going to replace me. Amazing. Great job, Chargers. Great job. Couldn't have got a tight end. There's nothing else you could have done. Good job, GM. All right, season goal. I'm going to go 25 TDs. I'll probably go 30 TDs. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 30 TDs. I'm going to go aggressive right now because I'm already getting the XP. I'm doing well. Um, so I might as well do it. Team salaries. I kind of want to check these out here. We got $5 million in cap space. I do love it. 13 million in cap penalty. That's hilarious. You're going to have to sign me in one more year to this guy. You got <sighs> horrible, man. I mean, this guy, I understand picking up. I get it. We needed a backup. I understand that. Eckler, like, that's my boy. 
Okay. Who's the fullback that we got? Mm. Uh, but we, we're paying a lot of money. I don't know how they're going to afford me, man. You guys are going to end up dropping a lot of boys off. Um, so two wide receivers here. Not bad. I'll, I'll say good on that. Good on the wide receivers. Good on the halfback. Terrible on the quarterback. This is a problem. $18 million. We're going to have him until he's 33 years old, Hurst. Not good. This guy's not going to get there. McKitty. MC Kitty. He's not going to get there. Sorry, man. He's not. Feeler. You know, decent offensive line. But this is this is a bad contract here, even though I love Lindsey. DeCastro, we got a one-year. Beluga. Okay, we got a problem on D-end here. Our D-ends are just, they're not there. Our D-line as a whole, even though I know Bosa's playing on the D-line, he's not really an outside linebacker like that. He's hes on the D-line chasing the quarterback a lot of the times, majority of the times. You know, we just, it's just tough. It's like, dude, our defense is, is dropping here, and it's not good. You know, we got big dudes coming up on contracts here, big dudes. We got a text from our coach. Justin, the team is struggling. Um, I'm going to call out um, wide receivers. I'll do that. I should call out the linemen, though, probably, honestly. Even though I don't believe that you should really do this, but you get a morale boost. So I'm just trying to get whoever I can figure out that's going to need it the most. Probably offensive line, though, is who I should be doing it with. Um, X Factor cornerback Jalen Ramsey. I already know this is straight up, man. Some friendly advice for, for our game this week. Success in the NFL is about minimizing risk, and bro, ain't nothing riskier than throwing the ball in my direction. Oh, damn, dude. I'm just going to try to intimidate you. In my experience, guys, only talk when they're afraid. And hey, I get it, dude. I'd be scared too if I were you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> let's go, dude. Come on, let's win this one. Let's do it, bro. And let's send him an old school stamped letter with candle wax, bro. Let's do it. I can't see. Hey, man, credit where it's due. I thought sure. Pick some ball. Yeah, dude, what'd you think? Come on now, baby. Text from the coach. He goes, hey, dude, God damn, just do one text. They hit me with like 500 texts. My legacy grows. This is, this is just bad right here. And you draft my quarterback. Uh, my replacement already i'm in year two year three now going on year three and you draft my replacement and this you could have drafted a tight end something the rams are the only ones we beat and by the way rams you got smoked so this kind of tells me though that we're gonna end up having a good season obviously i have no idea okay but i'm just assuming because you you get your losses out early on and then you come back um if if you have a good team i don't know we'll see I'm, I've always thought the yards were the best, blah, blah, blah. Yep, I know. Four TDs or 200 yards? That better be scrimmage yards, dude, because if that isn't scrimmage yards, you're not getting it. And I got a negative two morale, which is terrible. But, you know, I'm a 92 overall. I'll, I'll be a 99 overall. There's no question. I kind of almost, though... Because I could technically hold off on upgrading myself. But I want to see how I can make these contracts really realistic and make them cool and unique. To where it's like I can say, hey, like, because I don't think Madden's that, like, updated to where they're going to be like, hey, do you want to take a little bit of a top off to help the team? or And then it's how much is realistic without being like, yeah, I'm going to only get paid $50 million, dude, for 10 years. No, it's ridiculous. But... Um, if I either edit the contract, kind of drop, take off like 10 million or because it, I gotta, I gotta be realistic. I, I can be like, Hey, I'm a good dude and I'm going to, you know, take some off. Um, but obviously I still want to get paid a pretty big penny. Like there's, n come on so much for having a big game, huh? Damn dude. I it sucks, man. It really sucks. So I got Tyron Matthew talking crap again. So I guess I'll just intimidate him. Um, and he just says the same thing every time to Tyron Matthew. I mean, him. we just say the same stuff to each other. 
every time we're like yeah i'll crush you i'll crush you bro so we're two in four um not good top season so far you know we'll see what we can do but you know i don't know if we're gonna win this one they're two and four too or is that uh, is that us are we two and four because i can't tell what that i thought that the so we're two and five okay so we lost that's our record right there or that's the other team's record no hard feelings can't win them all yeah so we're two and five but that's a weird place to have your record is that really our record let me check that is such a strange thing. Why don't you just show the entire, like, division? And Oh, we're 2-6. and six. We lost again, I'm assuming here. Let's figure that out. Let's see. We, we could have saw right there. Right here. Let's look down. 2-6, and six, yeah. So, and the team we're playing is the Broncos. Where is the Broncos at? Right there. They're 2-6, and six too. So, I don't know whose record is what. Let's go again real quick. I don't know if that's my record. So we're playing the Broncos again? Where the hell are we at? Right there, we're playing Tennessee. We're three and six. All right, this is broken. All right, Madden, you're terrible at this. Why are you so bad at this stuff? This is like regular stuff. This is the most boring screen I've ever seen. So we had a real, real tough season. We went six and 11. Um, just really bad. Really bad season. Um, really just sucks I mean we hit the 30 touchdown mark so we got the extra XP good season you know pretty good Eckler didn't get as much this time he got a lot of touchdowns um, the rookie halfback we had he didn't do too bad out of Montana the power back not great you know his average yards per carry were not great um you know, I wonder how some of the rookies did. Palmer's doing well. He did okay. He didn't really do that much. Um, but, uh, yeah. Hmm. Not really anything between these two guys here. Uh, unfortunate. White had a good season again. He had a very, very good season. So, yeah, unfortunately. 14 sacks. There we go pretty good there three interceptions from murray wow wow yeah that sucks yeah thought we'd have a good season all right so it's the chiefs in the super bowl versus the cowboys Bengals. they ended up losing um so the patriots lost two green bay ended up losing at the last bit so pretty interesting here i don't know who to go with here i'm thinking maybe the cowboys i mean it would be Interesting to see a new team in there. Uh, so, yeah, probably Cowboys. I can't root for the Chiefs if I'm on the Chargers. I can't do it. So we got the Pro Bowl here. Once again, I went to the Pro Bowl. Um, so, yeah, did that. Allen's up there. Love it. Um, Lindsey. Yeah, tough one here. Joey Bosa. Let's go. Yes. All right outside. No, nah, is he? Yeah, he's on our team. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, baby. Maybe. Uh, not bad. So the Dallas Cowboys won the Super Bowl. So Lamar Jackson ended up getting MVP. Wow. Wow. Terrible. I want to get MVP at least once in my career. So we already know that I'm coming up on a contract. Um, you know, we know that. We know that Eckler's coming up on a contract. Right now we got a cap penalty. I don't know why they're increasing their cap penalty, but we do have – supposedly we have no rookie reserve. So I don't know if we have no draft picks or what that insinuates there. Um – but he did good. Montana did good. Um, fullback on again. We're not solidifying that fullback position. It's going to be cheaper doing that. Two more years left with Allen. You can already see he's regressing. Mike Williams, we got three more years. Uh, some of these guys, too, these younger guys are doing pretty good. These two guys I'm most impressed with here. 
Um, but Palmer probably is not going to pan out. They'll probably sign him, but he's not going to pan out, unfortunately. Uh, it's just not going to happen for him. Hurst, once again, just getting old and we owe him money. This is stupid. This was That was a dumb move. Um, Feeler's got one more year left. Lindsey's got – he's doing well. He's hanging on, which is great. We lost to Castro. Um, horrible offensive line here. No D lineman whatsoever. Just signed this guy. He's okay. So, you know, tough with this. Just, just tough. Not a lot of great guys here. So, real, real tough. Uh, Murray Jr. is coming up on a contract. I don't know what they're going to do there. But, um, so he was in the Pro Bowl. He's doing well, but his overall is just not getting there. Asante Samuel, we need to sign him. Uh, Derwin James, they just signed him to a big, huge deal, too. Big old deal. So that's interesting. I, I just wonder what they're going to do. Right, so let's look at this draft recap here. Um, we drafted a linebacker, pick one, or pick six. We were pick six, and this is the guy we got, Ricky Sharp. The left outside linebacker where Bosa is. Good stamina, good injury, but his injury is inflated with morale boost. So he's a 70. Uh, he fits our scheme. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And then we got this guy, Hightower. And now he is a hidden dev, okay? I respect that, but can you make him good? And then this free safety. Don't quite understand. He's good, okay? I just don't quite understand why you got him. Middle linebacker. All right. Another wide receiver. This guy was, a, he's great though, out of Navy. How tall are you, 6'2"? Dear Lord, Navy guy. You were a big boy on Navy, huh? Stamina's cheeks. Apparently you didn't run in the Navy. Sure. All you do is run. Um, Okay. Not bad though. Honestly, this is this is a decent one. We needed a lineman. We got a lineman. We needed an end. We got an outside linebacker. So wish they could just put this guy at end. That would be great if we could do that. But oh well. All right. So setting the season goal, I'm gonna go with 30 touchdowns again. Um, I think this is the most doable one. Now, this is the year that I'm coming up on a contract, too. So, this is a big year. And, uh, you know, I don't know what our overall is, but I do want to check it out and see. We're in 83 overall, so we're keeping up with the Bengals. Um, you know, this is, it's just, I would have liked, this last draft wasn't too bad. The last year's draft before this one was kind of irritating. But, you know, so far, I mean, we're, you know, moving in a decent direction. We did get one lineman. We actually need two linemen, but oh well. Kind of draft in some positions that don't really matter too much. So I'm going to just, you know, I'm not going to be, I, I really want to see how we do this season. Really, really want to see how we do. So, and of course, we start the season 0-2. Oh, God. It's just like, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't know what we have to do. So we got the teams bidding right now, and I just don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid to click on it because I've never done this in this current Madden, so I don't know how the contracts work. I I don't even see the offer. What is this? What? How? What is going on? What's the offer? Team's bidding one. What is? I I just have to accept the offer? This is silly. I'm not doing that. That's so stupid. This is weird. Tom Brady, what's up, dude? You know what motivates me to be the best? Having the talented QB on the opposing sideline. Every passing yard you gain, every TD you throw. It drives me to excel. So don't let me down this week. Oh, I'm praising this, man. 
excited to face off against you, dude. Playing against talented passers like you will make me a better player. I totally agree, man. I thrive on competition, and I can't wait to see what your offense has to bring. You're the best in the business. You're going to be better than me. He didn't say the last part, but I can tell he was thinking it. But uh, straight up, man, some friendly advice. Do you play? You play with the uh, intimidate him. You play with Tom Brady? Damn. You join the Buckaroonies? Wait a minute. Tom Brady is on the Packers? What? This is crazy. Crazy. Oh, we got freaking. The, he goes, man, you guys. Uh, and I really let loose this week. I, was, <laughs> I crapped on you guys. It wasn't your day. <laughs> hey, I respect it, bro. I respect it. Now, I don't want to hear from what's his name again. But right now in the season, we're four and four. So, not terrible. So, I didn't get the touchdown passes, but I was third in the NFL in passing. And we did end up going. I don't know what our record is. Of course, they don't show it. It's so stupid. But we did win enough to make it to the wild card round. We're ranked seventh, and we would go against the Chiefs if we win. We have to go play the Chiefs at their home. So, But we did get 4,800 yards. We missed the passing TDs by four TDs to get our basically our bonus. So that sucks. It's a little bit painful there. Um, but stats and all that stuff, I mean, we didn't do too bad. And I want to look at the contracts and see who they signed because I declined their contract. So I want to see how that kind of works out. 13th in offense, 17th in defense. Uh, Eckler appears to have gotten injured. I was clean with the interceptions, which is good. But he got injured because he only played 12 games. But still 4.3 yards per carry, 15 TDs. Pretty good season. Um, he ended up getting you know, quite a bit there. Um, Keenan Allen did great. He's always doing good. Always doing good. Uh, Derwin James, big season. Big comeback season here. I love it. Joey Bosa, 11 sacks. Not a lot of sacks from our guys here. Six picks. Damn, Adderley. Holy Christmas. Look at you go, Asante. You're my boy. All right, let's look over the contracts here. 1.48 million. I don't even know how they're going to sign me anyways. I don't know how you're going to sign me. You just want me to, like, pick up this contract, and they don't even tell you a contract. They signed Eckler. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hey, they got a rookie guy. So I'll probably go to free agency. Hopefully they offer me a contract. And then, you know, I'm still new to how this is. I'll learn it. This is my very first one of doing it in this fashion. Um, we've done them before. We did them, like, years ago with uh, Baker Mayfield and kind of moved with him. Um, but, but yeah, so, I mean, they did sign some guys. You This left tackle, and this is what sucks. Hightower's here. They should have just moved Hightower over or something because you got Slater here, and there's no he's not going to start over Slater. That guy has no chance to start over Slater. He's got to start over this guy, and I'm sure he already is starting over him, but it's just irritating. Um, but reality, you know, they did sign Murray. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Sante Samuel's next. Adderley had a huge season with those picks, man. That's huge. So good so far. You got two kickers for whatever reason. Ah, uh, we lost. That sucks, man. I'm such a good quarterback. And it's like, why are we not just what what is it that's causing us not to just be absolutely dominant is hell. What's the box score on this? What happened? I didn't do nothing. Damn, I got sacked three times. I got outperformed. And Lamar Jackson just ran. He did everything. Jesus. God, did he play defense too at this point? My God, man. Joey Bosa, three sacks too. Oh, Jesus. So, legacy board, obviously, Tom, the big daddy, Brady. Um, and then I'm down here. I'm behind Burrow. I got two yearly awards, no Super Bowls, no championships. I'm behind all these guys, and it just pisses me off. Baker Mayfield is on the Steelers. Nick Foles. Yeah, I can see that. 
Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton, Lamar Jackson. Damn. He's on the Jets? Yeah, right. All right, so the Chiefs won the Super Bowl 56 to 35. My Lord, have mercy. And then uh, Patrick Mahomes, MVP. Kansas City Chiefs won it. Blah, blah, blah. Ezekiel Elliott, Mike McCarthy. None of, you know, offensive rookie of the year. Defensive rookie of the year. So, God, this is just frustrating. I want to I want to win. I got to figure out how to win. So this is definitely new to me on how they offer contracts. These contracts are terrible, for one. I was really hoping, really, really hoping that the Chargers would offer me a contract and I could see how it is. But you definitely got to be careful doing this because, I mean, this is not really realistic on how they did this. I mean, $107 million. That's This is horrible. This, this amount of money, no quarterbacks. Like, I'm basically giving you... So much money. And, like, the Rams, okay. They went 10-7. and seven. Um, I, I could look at this and say, well, if I was in, you know, I would have to face the Chiefs every year still, which I have no issue with that. I wanted to stay, though, as a Charger. So, just kind of sucks. But I would choose, I would choose Tennessee here just because they got a pretty good amount of money. Oh, wow, he looks so weird as a Titan. But viewing the team here, you know, they got Tanny Bobani still, but obviously I would come in and and do it. And I, you know, with the Chargers doing what they did with that quarterback, they went and got Jordan Love. Wow. That's what you did. That's just crazy. But... You know, such a weird contract here, but they have Derrick Henry, he's getting old, the A.J. Brown, Curtis Samuel, they have Ben uh, Avril or whatever his name is, yeah, Avril, um, Austin Hooper, horrible offensive line, except for Nate Davis is really good, um, Simmons, such a beast, good D tackle here, they drafted well. Good left outside linebacker. This guy's real good. Good middle linebackers. And I, I took a pay cut to go play with him. So, you know, kind of sucks because I would have done that for the Chargers. But the Chargers, they just didn't they didn't offer me a contract afterwards. I wanted to see and kind of have them prove, you know, you do that thing with the quarterback. You know, yeah, I want to see. Because now the Titans have a lot of money and they're going to be able to, you know, um, and I took a huge pay cut. I wouldn't even have taken that pay cut in real life. There's no way I would have taken that pay cut in real life. And I'm wondering if I can look at the contracts here. Can you, you know, you got the ratings, you got the traditional five, you got all this stuff. Okay. So that's what you can do. You can do that, discard the changes. Um, but interesting, really interesting. So next time I do the next career sim or I come up with my contract again, I know more to, of what to expect. So for my new team here, they drafted a D tackle. They drafted another halfback. You know, not great, but um, I'm already coming on a team that's basically making Super Bowl runs every year. So, you know, it's, it's a big impact. Hopefully I can make a big impact on this team. Um, Mac, not bad. We, we could use a middle linebacker. You know, this guy doesn't, he does fit the scheme he's tied for. This D tackle, though, is a beast. This was a big move here. I love this. This, that gets me excited. This, not so much. Not so much. But in the third round, whatever. Tight end, cornerback, a lot of variety here. Um, better at drafting. And I wonder what the Chargers did. I wonder what the Chargers did. I'm assuming they, yeah, another quarterback. Horrible drafting, man. Look at this. It's just not good. Another left tackle. It's not good. I'm sorry. It's not good. Another left tackle. You drafted two left tackles back-to-back. -back. It just doesn't... I get it if the guy's the best that you got, but you need to move him to another position. Like, you got to do it. And I know the CPU is not going to do it, but this is just stuff that just will kill you. 
because it's just is like okay yeah you got a good guy out of Alabama this strong safety you didn't even need a strong safety maybe you needed him as a backup I guess okay fourth round pick not bad but and then another right guard here that's like I just don't and then a quarterback you already had three or you did need a quarterback as a backup actually um so there is that but for the most part like their drafting sucks it does it's not it's not that great so this season wasn't really a great season 3,800 yards, 26 TDs, 8 interceptions. This is one of my lowest throwing seasons, uh, but Derrick Henry had a huge season. I'm not. I'm more willing to give up some passing yards to end up getting a Super Bowl, and that's the big thing. And if they can't give me a Super Bowl, I'm going to figure a way to get out of this team because at the end of the day, that's what I want to do. 27 years old now, 97 overall, you know, and I really, really would like to win a Super Bowl. So I'm hoping we could do that. We didn't even make it to the playoffs. Chargers did make it to the playoffs, lost first round. Um, They were seventh seed. So, so far, you know, it's been just tough. Uh, It's been tough because I really just, I think we should win now on Tennessee. I really do. But, you know, that might take some time to get into it. I don't know. So they actually drafted pretty decent guys. Not great. Like this is a horrible third round pick. Uh, Lonnie Lauderdale, no, this is terrible. Long wasn't the worst. Some of these are kind of bad. The 6th and 7th are basically useless, but this is a horrible third-round pick here. Uh, but for the most part, you know, Owen here, Ricky Owens, not bad. Not terrible, fits our scheme, you know, getting some some guys that we need. I, I, I don't mind the cornerback here in the 5th round. This is pretty good, in my opinion. I think it's pretty good. Not not dissatisfied with that whatsoever. I do wonder who the Chargers picked up. Yeah, not bad. More halfbacks, too. They just keep in the same, same kind of guys. But they had a good draft. So make sure to stay tuned for the next episode. We'll have that coming out tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. I'm in a song. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lives.